In this video, we're gonna be talking about combining multiple internet sources into one faster and more reliable source. Now, the reason you're here right now is because you had the idea, what if I took two slower internet sources and I combined them together and then I got really fast and reliable internet in my house? This is called bonding, and I'm sorry to say it's not quite as easy or as cheap as you would think. Now, in your mind, this probably seems really easy. You're gonna have two internet sources, you could plug two of them into a router, and then that router could send double fast internet all over your house, but that's not really the way internet works. You see, you send packets of information out, but then it has to come back to your same computer. But if you split up those packets and send them out to the internet, when they come back to the computer, they're not going to know how to find it. So to make this work, you're going to need a server on the other end to receive that data from multiple sources and combine it, and then send it back to your singular computer. Now, this is possible, but you're going to have to pay for it. And there are services out there. Probably the most popular one is called Speedify. And Speedify is great because it works on multiple devices. You can install it on a router or a Raspberry Pi, or you could use it on a desktop, a laptop, or even a smartphone. And basically the software can recognize multiple internet sources like a Wi-Fi signal and an ethernet signal or more if you had more devices plugged in. And it can do different things with those connections. It could bond them for one faster stream or you could set it to a redundant connection. So if you were doing something really important like a live stream and it just can't go down, it could be sending that live stream over both of your internet connections. And if one of them goes down while you're live, the other one still has 100% of that stream. Now, because bonding is complicated and it costs that monthly fee, most people aren't going to go the bonding route, they might go the load balancing route. And you can get a load balancing router for really cheap online, and these routers can accept multiple internet connections, and they can balance out those internet connections. Now, instead of that bonded connection, which is basically just one faster internet source, a load balancer is going to use one internet source for some data and another for other data. So if you had multiple devices connected to the internet and each one was trying to download and upload, a load balancer could actually utilize both internet connections at the same time and in theory, speed up your internet. If however, you're on a single computer and you're trying to download one large file or stream one video, it's not going to speed that up at all. Same thing goes when it comes to uploading. If you're trying to upload a really large file and you want it to be faster, a load balancer is not going to do it for you. Now, maybe you're like me and you're not looking for ultimate speed, you're just looking for some sort of backup solution. My main internet here in this house is really fast. I don't have a problem there but I have power outages all the time, and if power goes out for more than an hour, the node dies somewhere on the street, and I lose internet. What are my options? Now, obviously, I don't wanna spend a ton of money on this backup internet solution if I don't need it all the time. I want the cheapest solution possible. And after a ton of research, I think my best option is a 4G or 5G setup. As you guys probably know, you can purchase 4G or 5G hotspots that can supply internet to your entire home if you want them to. But the problem that I've run into is that none of these options, at least in my area, give you full unlimited internet. Even if they advertise unlimited internet, you can see that it's capped at 50 or 100 megabytes. For that reason, I could not use this setup with a load balancing router because I could burn through 50 or 100 gigabytes in a single day. I mean, if I just downloaded a video game on my Xbox, that could be 100 gigs right there. So basically what I need is the SIM card ready at all times, but only to be used if my main internet source goes out, and that is called a failover system. Now, as far as I know, every load balancing router is also a failover router. I mean, if it can use both at once, it should be able to use one of those internet internet sources if the other one goes down. But in my case, if I were to buy one of those, it would also require that I buy a 4G hotspot that has an ethernet cable that I could then plug into that. It would just require an extra piece of gear. So instead, what I've purchased is this. This is the Netgear Nighthawk AX4 AX1800. I'll put a link in the description. And basically this is a standard wireless router, 
but it also has a slot in the back for a nano SIM card. So you can pop a SIM card in this thing and it has automatic failover. So if your main internet goes out, it will switch over to that SIM card for internet. And as soon as your wired internet comes back, it will switch back over. Now, my biggest problem with this setup is that I rarely need it. But of course, all of these cell phone companies want to lock you into a monthly plan. So then you have to decide, well, how much do I want to pay every single month? You could get a cheap SIM card for like 10 or 20 bucks a month. It's going to give you one or two gigabytes, but is that really enough data to run the internet in your house for more than a few minutes? Now, there are other plans that give you 50 or 100 gigs a month for 60 or $70 a month. But again, do you really want to pay for that if you're not using it? So what I'm currently looking for is a prepaid SIM card that does not expire. I would love to be able to purchase 100 or 500 gigabytes of data, not have to pay a monthly fee, and just slowly burn through that data over the course of a year. If anybody watching this knows of a plan like that, please let me know. I've read a few things online about buying SIM cards off of Amazon and these shady third-party companies that claim to be able to do this. Of course, I'm in Puerto Rico, which complicates things even more. But if you know of anything like that, please let me know in the comments below. I'm sure there are other people like me with unreliable internet who are looking for a cheap but reliable option for a backup. And if there is a prepaid SIM option out there, I'm sure we would all love to know. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. As you can see, we're getting really close to our 1 million subscriber goal. We've been working on this for quite a long time. I'm really trying to step up our YouTube game here. I would really appreciate it if you'd hit the like button and subscribe and do all that jazz. Um, it really does a lot to help push our videos up uh, to the masses on YouTube and everything. And if you're a photographer, head over to fstoppers.com. We've got uh, daily free tech news type stuff on that website. And if you're interested in going pro and you wanna learn from some of the best photographers in the world, head over to fstoppers.com slash store. We have a ton of photography tutorials on every genre of photography you can imagine.